We're here on the GameSpot stage for the last appointment of the day. We've seen so many games, but now we're coming back to an old favorite, I think it's fair to say. One for one I remember from last year, having a good time with Gary Clay. Pleasure to meet you, Owen Johnson. How you doing, my friend? Uh, you guys are here with uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, but not just regular ass Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Uh, this is coming out on next gen. Yeah, this is the PS4 version. So we're playing it right now. Yeah, so Owen's going to show you a couple of new things today Also, awesome. we haven't shown before. So yeah, yeah, let's hop on in. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you, uh, when was it released? It, it, it feels like not that long ago. So it came out on Xbox One and Xbox 360 in March, yes. and it's coming out on PS3 and PS4 in, on, in August on 19. And then isn't it coming out on PC? It is coming out on PC month? in a, yeah, a couple yeah, of yeah. weeks. I yeah, like yeah. it. You're staggering it. Yeah, yeah. So what's, what's coming in December? We got, yeah. we got Sega Saturn. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. We're going back. We're going back. Mega Drive. So uh, yeah, no, uh, with Popcat, we're quite a small dev team. So yeah. we actually focus on like individual platforms at a time. It's not the same kind of. We're not equipped to do a huge triple A. Yeah. You know, a all platforms at once push. But trust me, it's going to be good. Cool. Uh, what I first of all want to ask you, because a bunch of people were asking me uh, for the past couple of days, is uh, you guys were pretty good about adding content to the game post release yeah. for the Xbox versions. Uh, that sort of stuff. Is that going to be? on the PlayStation 4 version? Day yeah, yeah, day? absolutely. Okay. So we're working on a bunch of new add-on content at the moment. Unfortunately, we can't talk about it right now. Cool. But with PlayStation, all the additional content that came on Xbox One and Xbox 360 will be there at launch, and then we'll continue to support it post-launch with even more content. Excellent. Well, we have it up here, so uh, let's let's shoot to the gameplay yeah. and, uh, and check out what's going on. So we're just showing a couple of the customization items right now. So if you pre-order on PlayStation, you get um, either a Sly Cooper, a Ratchet and Clank, or a Fat Princess customization, so you can is see it, a little... Is that random? Yeah. No, you, you can get, it depends where you get it. So the only one that you can't get from a retailer is the Fat Princess. That's the one I want. There you go, we, that's digital with PlayStation. Okay, okay, digital so only let, Let's then. take a look at the Fat Princess for a second. So here's a chomper disguised as a zombie in the Fat Princess wig. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean. so we're gonna jump straight into uh, Card Nops, which is our four player online co-op mode, but we're gonna play it single player for you today. Yeah, because obviously all that stuff just in. sort of... Hasn't hasn't uh, hasn't been set up yet. So we're going to quickly create a match for you. So yeah, so the main gameplay modes within the game, you got 24 player online, and that is kind of a uh, team deathmatch style, but also uh, a gameplay a mode called Gardens and Graveyards, which is a rush style uh, gameplay mode inspired by Battlefield. Yeah. Um, and that is the zombies pushing the plants back and they're trying to protect the base. And there's always a huge set piece at the end of each one of the maps, which That's is- That's my favorite mode. Uh, oh, good, good, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't know if you'd played it or if you- Oh yeah, we played a out. bunch of it. It was one of these games that on paper was kind of like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. people didn't see it coming. No, and then you play it and it's like, oh, there's actually a, Kind of embarrassing level of depth to this, and now I feel like a bit of a <laughs> there jerk. There you go. That's what we're trying to get, you know, get across. I mean, it's done really well on the Xbox platforms. We've got, you know, over 1.3 million people playing right now. Wow, that's so incredible. yeah. So it's done great, and uh, we're uh, we're really excited to bring it to PlayStation. I think people are going to be very excited about the gameplay. Yeah, and I imagine it's one of these games that people were sort of pining for as well. Yeah, especially the PC crowd because it was it was already on, yeah, yeah. on Xbox. So yeah, PC is going to be exciting as well. We've actually put in a bunch of new features for PC, you know, things, very specific things like really dialing up the different level of visuals you can get into in the yep. customization, all the kind of key bindings you'd expect, but also um, it's got a dynamic UI, so if you want to switch between a gamepad or playing with a keyboard and mouse, cool. it's going to change on the fly. So we're going to jump in with either Fire P or Commando P, whichever you like best. And he's Fire P action. So Fire P is one of the variants that's going to give you a damage over time. You can skip through these, dude. There we go. So <laughs> He likes um, them too much. That's yeah, he, he does. <laughs> he just needs to check how to use the ability. So this is a, a map called Port Scallywag. And when we launched, this map had you kind of generic zombies in there. Right now, in one of our updates, we added all pirate zombies okay, to I this. Seen this yet. So, uh, so you're going to see the pirate zombies in this map. So when you play this, the objective is to plant a garden and then protect it against multiple waves of zombies. And usually we play it four player. We're going to play it single player right now. And if you were playing live on a, on a live server right now, people could jump in and it would dynamically shift the difficulty level depending Wonderful. on how many people were playing. So we're going to put it right down in the center. There is always a bonus garden as well that will give you more points. Mm. It's much harder to defend because it has limited lines of sight, for instance. Mm. And we've got a few of the different plants here that we added post-launch. So let's put up a bamboo shoot, which is uh, one of my favorite plants. That's kind of like an artillery strike, and this is Owen's favorite place to put it. Got a good <laughs> line of sight here. 
And then uh, we added things like the fire P and the ice P, and they're going to do damage over time or slow the guys down. As we go what I loved it. about this mode is that it's the one that is most reminiscent of Plants vs. Zombies proper. Yeah, absolutely. Was this, was this the first one you guys came up with? And then this the rest was of actually the last one we came oh, up really? with. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow, yeah. Okay. So, so we started with um, Team Deathmatch and really wanted to get that right. And then we knew we wanted a really big set piece. Um, style gameplay, which was the gardens, uh, gardens and graveyards maps. But then we spent a really long time trying to get co-op right. You know, we weren't sure exactly how we wanted to do it. We knew we wanted to have some of the tower defense level elements, as you just yeah. said, and that's where you're going to see um, bringing in those classic characters from the original PVZ and also new characters coming in from PVZ2 as yeah. well. Um, and so, yeah, that was the last one, but it came together really quickly and just became very, very fun. Mm. Has there now that you guys have had success uh, on the Xbox One and PC, and I, presumably I, I imagine it's probably going to do quite well on, on the PlayStation as well. Um, is there a tendency to try and maybe drag what some of the stuff you've done here back into the Plants vs Zombies vanilla? Absolutely, version, yeah. Or? No, no, it's a really good, really good question. So we we constantly talk between the two teams. So this game's developed up in Popcat Burnaby. Mm -hmm. um, and then the PVZ2 team are in Seattle, so we're constantly thinking about how we can affect the two universes. The thing that brings um, Plants vs. Zombies universe together is, is obviously Dave and Zomboss and, and the time travel element with Penny, which is the flying RV that Dave has. So you'll see that when you start this... I love for people who don't know any of this, this must be blowing their goddamn <laughs> minds. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, so I mean, the, the backstory becomes even more ridiculous, of course, because <laughs> it's, it's, it's effectively a big fight over a taco. You know, so, <laughs> so it becomes even more hilarious. But Crazy Dave will drop the plant heroes in, and you basically, in this game mode, you're surviving 10 waves, and then an extraction wave of uh, while he brings the RV back after he's been, you know, going searching for the space taco. Going for furniture, as it were. Um, so are there any fundamental differences between this one and, and what we've seen already on Xbox One? The customization items you'll definitely see. Uh, one of the main differences is you can actually play it remote play on Vita. Okay, so, yeah, so wonderful. If you, if you like a bit of remote play on Vita, I, I, I have a Vita and I really enjoyed that gameplay mode. You can take it, you can play all of the different gameplay modes, including boss mode on Vita, mm. uh, which, is, which is great and really exciting for us. The other thing that we're doing is you can actually use the PlayStation app on a tablet now, the universal version of it, and uh, you can use that to play boss mode. So you can have a top-down oh. view of the battlefield and, and bring in airstrikes, bring in heals, bring in revives, mm. and you can use that app now. Uh, on launch, which will be really exciting. We've also brought in a bunch of new um, options to this. You'll see these special um, wave kind of conditions. You see right now he's got to get no, no garden damage in order to get that extra bonus. So we're bringing in some new ones of those as well. Obviously the new characters and then we've got a bunch of content that we haven't announced yet. I'm guessing you're going to try and ensure feature parity between yeah, yeah. All, all of these versions. You don't Correct. want to leave anyone out. That's right, here, yes. Um, I have to ask this question because I love asking it because it's super dumb and it's anyone who's bringing a game to PS4. What are you using the touchpad for? The touchpad will bring up the uh, the screen for the uh, checking your score. Do it. So Do it. Hit the touchpad. There you yeah, go. Boom. There you touchpad go. action. There you go, baby. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get some. You never know. No, I know. It's like the, yeah, it's like the lucky dip. Yeah, yeah. Of, of yeah video bring game up the touchpad to, to to show the taco or location on the map. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. So continuing on, then I guess you you know you've you've released it earlier this year. Your PC version is coming this month. Yeah. Uh, August, you've got PlayStation 4. What's the lifespan for this game? Do you think, for, uh, in terms Honestly, of your guys' responsibility? Honestly, it's, it's as long as we our players are excited about it. Right now, we've, we're having some amazing feedback, mm. and we're thinking about a bunch of new game modes, um, which we're very excited to bring in the near future. So they're. That we can't talk about exactly what they're going to be yet, yeah. but it's going, to, it's going to be very exciting for people. Our next update that we're working on is very much focused on team play. That's the only thing we can really say right now, but yeah. um, we've really taken a lot of feedback on board about things like party systems so that people can get can invite their friends to the type of gameplay and, and really uh, working on the, co the actually competitive style game mode. So we found that you know a lot of people, when they first look at the game, they, because of the cartoon style visuals, mm. you know people think that it's either going to be a very simple game or there is no real competitive element yes. to it. And since we've launched, we've found that people are really, really taking it seriously on a competitive front. And so we're spending a lot of time thinking about what that might look like. So Excellent. that's kind of a little bit of a hint of what we're working on. All right, that's cool. Uh, it, it, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare was definitely a game that took the GameSpot office uh, by surprise as a bunch of us are really into it. And I know that there's probably, a, uh, to me it seems like one of these word of mouth games that I imagine when it comes out on PlayStation 4, you're probably gonna get a, a bunch of extra people hopping on there. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for, absolutely. Awesome, Gary Noan, thank you so much for coming on. No problem. Absolute pleasure having you here. What a wonderful game to finish up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Our demos here and on you the game's website. You get your little website. boss wave right at the end as well. Oh, perfect, as well. We've got a bit of disco action, Horde, and...
There you go, and oh. the tombstones. Nice work.